To describe molecules quantum mechanically, we can take the atomic orbitals from the atoms and recombine them to form molecular orbitals. And that works well for diatomics. We can take s and p orbitals and overlap them and form molecular orbitals. The s and p orbitals have the appropriate arrangement and symmetry for a diatomic molecule. But what if we get more complicated? Even if you go to a very simple triatomic, or if you go to something with steric number 2, how do we accommodate steric number 2? How do we have a carbon bond to something on this side and something on this side? If I use my p orbital over here to make a molecular orbital with this, I don't have a p orbital available to make a molecular orbital with this. I can't reuse my orbitals to make more bonds. So I have to have bonds and orbitals that have the right orientation. The atomic orbitals forming bond angle 180 can't quite do that. So forming acetylene isn't really possible. And it gets a little more complicated when I go to steric number 3. So if I have a bond angle of 120 degrees, there aren't even atomic orbitals that have 120 degree orientation to each other. So what atomic orbital can make that accommodation to form something like graphite, for instance, where all the bond angles are 120 degrees? Or tetrahedral arrangements, where the steric number is 4, I have to have 109 degree bond angles. In things like polyethylene and diamond, those bond angles need to be accommodated. So what I need are a set of atomic orbitals where I can combine them and get the various angles for the various steric numbers. And that's what we'll look at next.